All right, welcome. In this video, I am going to show you how to do a Valley of the Drakes suicide run. Um, this is to get the spider shield um, and I believe the brigand armor. Basically, some of the things that you start with if you start as the bandit class. So what you're going to do is run down here where you just saw me run. We're going to go down this elevator and it's not there. So what I'm going to do is pull the lever and wait for it to come up. And hopefully this video goes smoothly. Last time I tried doing this, I died many times. Um, but I think I have a pretty good strategy for it this time. I'm um, there. I'm pretty much guaranteed to die at one part of this suicide run so it may take two tries um, we shall see though so we're just gonna drop off this part here we may get hurt a little bit but that's okay and when we come down here we're gonna go right and we're gonna go right up this these stairs here and go up this winding staircase now we can only open this door this early in the game if we have the master key if you chose the master key as your starting gift which is something I would recommend let's grab that soul item um, so you can do this suicide run and there it comes in handy a few other times in the game you can also buy a master key I believe from one of the vendors later in the game but as you saw I just went across that bridge I'm going along this cliff side here trying not to fall off go across this rickety old bridge you can see in the distance there that dragon that is hugging the cliff there he is actually sleeping so what we want to do is and you can see somebody else died here <laughs> probably doing the same thing yep so what will happen is we'll go and get those items that are right between his head and his arm and we're just going to just spam the A button or X button if you're playing on PlayStation and just keep pushing it to pick up all the items and if you after you've gotten all of them if you can roll away um, good for you um, and um, I'll show you where to go after that but chances are you will die I think I've only been able to do this and not die maybe once um, but here we go let's try it out so I'm just gonna run in here let me grab these items Oh, and I died. I tried rolling away. So we got Astora's Straight Sword, which is great for a faith build and the Dragon Crest Shield. And we're actually, um, I mean, you may pref prefer the Dragon Crest Shield, but I'm going to go get the Spider Shield in this same area, which is a shield that I personally like a little bit more. So we're going to run back down to that same spot. Feel free to fast forward the video. I will not be offended, I promise. So chances are, um, if you're doing this, you will die right there. And we'll just go back down for the other items. The guy's got kind of an emo haircut going on. Sorry, I'm probably making you dizzy. Alright, same thing. Drop off here. Run up these stairs. And I probably should have stopped the video after that first one. But, and then shown you how to go um, get the other items in, in another video, but that's okay. We'll just have to make it the first try. I don't want the video to get too long, though. Alright, so now he is awake. And what you can do is put up your shield, and he'll actually he'll spray this poisonous goo on the ground. And that's all he'll do if you stand far enough away. Just get close enough to where it's not hitting you. 
And I'm gonna actually pick up pick up my old souls. Ah, uh, there's only 200. Okay, so he's not hitting me here. So after it clears out, I'm gonna run to the right side. I'm gonna grab this item and keep running. Dive out of the way. He almost hit me there. <laughs> so we got a soul item there, and up here is pretty sketchy business. Um, basically, you see those drakes in the distance. They are very powerful and will probably kill me in one hit. They shoot this like lightning um, at you, which will kill you very easily. So what you're gonna want to do is run to the right of this guy and just do a running, just run past him, do a run jump. And this guy here, just kind of get his attention, run around him. Not a big deal. We're going to go across this bridge, and here's where I kept dying. What you're going to want to do is lure him, jump to the left, and run right past him. Oof. There we go. That's what we wanted. I don't believe there's anything else here, but I'm going to look just in case. Um, I don't see anything, so let's see if we can make it back. If I were to die here right now, it wouldn't be that big of a deal because I got what I wanted. Oh, and I got hit. Oh, that was close. Punks. Alright. Oh, I was stuck on him. I'm gonna try to heal up. Uh oh, I don't want to get trapped on this narrow ledge. Oh, my goodness. Oh, and I fell off. <laughs> That's okay. I only had about 200. 200 souls so that's not a big deal so there you have it um, some good items right at the beginning of the game that can help a lot and if you're playing as a faith build that a store is straight short sword should be pretty good I've never actually played as a faith build yet that's the only one I the only um, one of the main four builds that I have not done but I'm just gonna equip this spider shield because I really like it Oh, you know what? I can't even hold it yet. Let's see how much strength it requires. It requires 10 strength, and I have 9. So, next time I level up, I will level up my strength one time and be able to use that awesome shield. Alright, guys. Um, well, that's it for now. Um, thanks for watching.